So kicking off today's news, Conor McGregor has now officially been tested by USADA and USADA has released Conor's official testing numbers to the public. So if you check out USADA's website here, as you can see, USADA's database was updated on November 30th, 2023. And as you can see, Conor McGregor has now given three samples to USADA. So this means Conor's now back on track for his return in 2024 and Conor is set to fight Michael Chandler in April or May. Today, McGregor also released some interesting training footage ahead of his fight with Michael Chandler and can be seen dropping one of his sparring partners. Now, as you can see here, he's sparring with this guy who's an orthodox fighter like Michael Chandler. He's got a similar body type and a similar striking style to Michael Chandler, but there's a very interesting sequence that takes place here where he actually drops Drops his sparring partner, so check this out. Bump! Oh, so there, as you can see, this was a lead uppercut to an overhand. Now, this is not a new shot. This is a shot that is used in many fights. His fight against Dustin Poy and his fight against Nate Diaz. But I believe this is a shot that is going to use again in the fight against Michael Chandler. And I'm just going to slow it down a little bit here so you can see. So he starts off with the lead uppercut. This is actually not a shot. It's just baiting him here. And then he throws the overhand and drops him with that shot. Bump! And again, I do believe he'll use this in the fight against Michael Chandler and it could potentially end the fight with that shot. Now, as we know, Conor McGregor's the master of mind games and before of a lot of his fights in the past, he's put out footage to kind of show his bag of tricks and kind of play mind games with his opponents and then they may go into a fight expecting him to throw a shot that they may have seen on social media and then he catches them with a completely different shot. But this shot here, like I say, he's used it in many fights before and I do believe he will use this shot in the fight against Michael Chandler. Again, the lead uppercut to bait him in and then Bumpf drops him with that shot. So I'm excited for this fight with Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. How do you think the fight's gonna go? Give us your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think. The next story comes from Giga Chikadze, who has unfortunately suffered an injury and is out of his fight against Josh Emmett at UFC 296 on December 16th. Now today, Giga did actually release some footage from the sparring session which he sustained an injury. On his Instagram, Giga says, shit happens. I'll be back very soon. Torn Goring. Josh Emmett did actually react to Giga's injury and says Giga's out. Who's ready? December 16th. UFC 296. Now this is a shame for Giga Chikadze because he has been on a very good run since 2019. He's only lost one fight and he's won eight fights and this fight against Emmett could have potentially put him back on a run for the title. So it is a shame and I wish Giga and his family all the best and I wish him a speedy recovery. So who do you think Josh Emmett should fight? Should he take on an opponent on 12 days notice? Give us your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think. And the final story comes from Armin Sarukian. So following his first round knockout of a Benil Dariush, Armin Sarukian is now calling for a BMF title fight against Justin Gaethje. Now Armin says really he would like to leapfrog Charles Oliveira and get an immediate title shot against Islam Makachev, but if that is impossible, he wants to fight Justin Gaethje for the BMF title. Speaking to Aria Hawani about fighting Justin Gaethje, Armin says he has to take this fight. Who does he want to fight? Will he wait for one year for a title shot? Maybe we can fight for the BMF title. Why not? He can make money and I can make money. He's a confident guy. He's got to take this fight. Make money and give me the BMF title. So what are your thoughts on the situation? Should Armin Sarukin get an immediate title shot against Islam Makachev? Or should he fight Justin Gaethje for the BMF title? Give us your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think.